Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and desperate Kamala Harris is getting even more desperate and trying to change the rules of the election because she's getting trounced. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please visit that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America and hit subscribe. It really helps us out. Election lawfare. That's where we're at right now. Kamala Harris has bragged that she has teams of attorneys in all 50 states. And those attorneys right now are trying to change the rules of the election. They are trying to change the rules by how votes are counted, whose votes are counted. They're fighting Virginia to keep illegal aliens on the voter rolls. Virginia has removed them. They're taking Virginia to court to keep them. What's the basis of that lawsuit? They can't constitutionally vote. What's the basis of that lawsuit? And it's only going to take one liberal activist judge to put them right back on the voter rolls, guys. That, that's something we have to be very careful about. Because they want to get votes no matter how they get the votes. They talk about being careful, free and fair, free and fair. You hear that all the time. If you got to keep repeating the words free and fair, it probably wasn't free and fair. So I worry a lot about what they have planned for this election. I have a lot of worries that they're going to try and change laws to benefit them. And then it'll be legal, but will it be ethical? It will not be, in my opinion. I want you to listen to this. Jesse Waters did a piece on this. I want you to listen to it. And let me know what you think in the comments. The election's three weeks away, but the legal battles have already begun. Lawyers could have more say than voters. Politico reports Kamala has hundreds of lawyers on call in all 50 states. Her massive legal team's already waging electoral war in the courts. One official boasted about winning nine out of ten cases that have already been decided, while assembling what they're calling the biggest voter protection operation in presidential campaign history. And when a Democrat says voter protection, that usually means they're changing the rules. This could throttle the swing states and cause us to lose even more faith in our elections. Today in Georgia, a judge ruled that election officials have to certify results, even if voter fraud is suspected. And around the state, Democrats are suing to prevent drop box surveillance hand-counting ballots, and voter ID protections. Why are Democrats trying to make elections less secure? Especially while many states across the country are finding thousands of people who aren't citizens on the voter rolls. Like in Virginia, where Governor Yunkin removed more than 6,000 non-citizens from the rolls. The Biden-Harris administration didn't like that. The Justice Department is now suing Virginia for cleaning up the voter rolls, something Virginia governors have been doing for years. Why is it that anyone could argue that, that a process that removes non-citizens off of our voter rolls is anything else other than common sense and constitutional? This is a law that's been on our books since 2006. Yep. It was a law that was signed by then Democrat Governor Tim Kaine. This is why I find this to be a very, very unreal moment that is stunning, that they filed this suit 25 days before a presidential election, when in fact this has been going on in accordance with our Constitution, the federal Constitution, and state law since 2006. Hmm. It's simple. We just want free and fair elections. Democrats are trying to loosen the rules and get Republicans to certify the results of an election that hasn't happened yet. Will you accept the election results of 2024, no matter what happens, Senator? Will you accept to commit to the election results in this election cycle, no matter who wins? Just simply yes or no. Will you commit to accepting the results of this year's election? In 2024, will you certify the election results? Do you plan to object or will you accept the results regardless of who wins the election? Asking you to accept the results of an election before the election? It's like a waiter demanding you agree that the dinner was good before it was served. And if a Republican says, well, let's make sure everything's fair and square before we certify, you're called a threat to democracy. But now that Trump's up in the polls, Democrats are saying Trump's already stealing the election. 
Democrat Congressman Jamie Raskin told Axios he definitely doesn't assume that Trump would use free, fair and honest means to secure a victory. Trump is doing whatever he can to try to interfere with the process. And it's not just Raskin. Another Democrat from Illinois says this. I don't know what kind of shenanigans he is planning. We would have to, in any election, make sure that all the rules have been followed. Now, if Democrats really want a fair fight, why are they working so hard to change all the rules?